So for the half dutch braid, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the hair on top horizontally like this. And then I'm going to divide it into three equal parts, like so. So there's one, two, and three. Then I'm going to take the strand on the right and I'm going to place it underneath the middle one. So now this is the middle strand. Now I'm going to take the strand on the left and place it underneath the middle. And then now this part's the tricky part. I'm just going to grab hair like this and I'm going to combine it with the strand on the right and then place it underneath the middle. And then on this side, I'm not going to pick up any hair because it's a half dutch braid. So I'm just going to place it underneath the middle on its own. I'm going to continue. As you can see, I'm only grabbing hair from the right side. And the left side, I'm just going to braid it as it is. And don't forget to braid it underneath because if you start to braid it on top, you're going to get a half French braid and it's not as pretty as a Dutch braid. Especially if you're doing it half like this. So once again, putting that underneath. Grabbing hair. So I'm just going to show you really quick. So this is the Dutch braid. As you can see over here, no hair gets picked up. It's only over here. First of all, I'm going to divide my hair starting from the top and I'm going to work my way down. So this part will be the braided part and I'm going to leave this part alone. And then you want to do the same thing to the other side. So everything over here is going to be braided. I'm going to brush it and tie it out of the way. And now I'm going to take the rest of this hair on this side and I'm going to comb it so that it'll go this way. Just tilt your head a bit. And you're only going to tilt your head for a while because when we're done braiding this area, we'll just tilt our head back up. So what you do first is divide your hair into three equal parts and then start doing the half dutch braid. So when you get to the very end, just continue to braid your hair like so. So I forgot to show you, but after I finished the braid, I just tied it with an elastic band like this. And now I'm going to let go of the rest of my hair. And I'm just going to give it some volume. So I'm just going to get my comb and some hairspray. And I'm just going to tease this area, so I'll divide this area over here. Spray it with some hairspray. And tease. Especially if you have less hair, if you grab most of your hair to do the braid, you're not going to have much hair at the back. So we want to give the illusion that we have a lot of hair. So I'm just going to spray. Especially this side, you have to tease it because there's n nothing really there, so you don't want it to look too plain. So tease this side as well. And then you want to grab two bobby pins, and all you have to do is take this piece and place it anywhere you like and just pin it. Cross your bobby pins together so it stays in place. If you want, you can grab some of the hair and you can cover it. But I don't really mind the bobby pins showing. 
And that's the look I did for that video that you guys requested. If you want, you can even pull your braid up a little more. And you can spray it down with hairspray. But that's about it.